Dom spent his 13th birthday in the cave, at the time unsure if he'd ever get out. But you'd hardly know it as he thanked the doctors and nurses on leaving hospital today, the very picture of health. This was him two weeks ago, smiling for his rescuers, when the 12 boys and their coach were discovered after nine days without food. He and his teammates made their first public appearance since their astonishing rescue, treating journalists to some nifty footwork before taking the stage to recount their experiences in the cave. They'd gone to explore, just for an hour, they said, but found themselves cut off by fast-rising water. 14-year-old Adun, who speaks the best English among them, then described the moment when, after nine days, they heard the two British divers close by. We were digging and we heard somebody talking, but we didn't think that it was real, so we stopped and listened. But it, as it turned out, it happened. It was real. I, I was shocked. I thought there were Thai officers, but when they uh, uh, got out of the water, I found that they, they were English. I didn't know what to say to them, so I just say hello. It was a miracle. It was a miracle. I was shocked. For all of them, the hardest thing in the cave was the hunger. This is the youngest, Titan, who's 11 years old. I try not to think about food, but because thinking about food, it, oh, I try not to think about fried rice. They finished with a tribute to Saman Gunan, the Thai diver who died while trying to save them. Watching at home was Dom's family. His stepfather, Banpot, hadn't been able to see him in hospital. With just a few hours before he came home, it was hard keeping his emotions back. I'm just waiting to welcome him as soon as he gets here, he said. We'll all be there. I just want to hug him. Well, it's been a very long wait this evening for Dom's family, but we think just a few more minutes to go before he comes home. And for this very ordinary family, hopefully an end to a very extraordinary story. And then he was there, the boy who'd missed his 13th birthday, but with his miraculous escape had been given a second chance. It's not often you get an ending as happy as this. Jonathan Head, BBC News, Maesai, Northern Thailand.